happy full moon! Today I'm going to do a little quick reading to see what this new moon brings for us today. So you know it's the new moon in June, so it's also called the strawberry moon, which is kind of weird because a strawberry... Did you know a strawberry is not actually a strawberry? It's actually the little seeds in a strawberry that is a strawberry. So a strawberry is actually strawberries. I don't know. <laughs> New weird thing I learned, so you all have to hear about it too. Because, you know, <laughs> ADHD brain has no filter over here. <laughs> so today, yeah, I'm just going to see what the new moon has to say for you all. It's going to go through all the signs, so if you just want to skip through to your sign, I will have the timestamps in the, either in the description or in the comments section. You'll be able to find it <laughs> if you want to just skip through to your reading. The spiritual meaning of today's full moon is that it offers an opportunity to sit in fullness, and like just kind of like reflect on the things that we are thankful for you know it's a time to think about the blessings that we do have and the experiences that we have experienced and just to think about those things and just you know process the power that all of that brings to us you know every lesson is a lesson if it's a good one or a bad one either way we learn from it and we grow from it and this is an opportunity to think about that this is and this full moon kind of gives us that energy to reflect on or continue working on old projects that we may not have been putting a lot of time or focus on. It also reminds us to have energy for like some relationships that are meaningful to us. You know, if you haven't like called a friend in a long time, it's kind of just giving us that boost of energy to think about doing those things, you know? So let's just get to it. I think I'm going to start with... <laughs> Capricorn for some reason. That's just the one that caught, popped right out of my mind. Okay, so what is in store for Capricorn? So Capricorn, what can you no longer be hidden from you? So this is what cannot be hidden from Capricorn. This one is what Capricorn can let go of. What can Capricorn let go of? Mm. What is getting ready to emerge for Capricorn? Woo! This one just went flying, so there we go. Some good things are coming here for Capricorn. Let's just take a look. <laughs> Capricorn, so this is what can no longer be hidden from you. So this could be like on your subconscious mind or just something that the full moon wants to reveal to you today. Or this week, anytime you see this reading, this is, re is when you need to hear these messages. So the full moon wants you to be aware of, I feel like it wants you to be aware of a difficult decision. It wants you to really weigh your options or really like think about this opportunity that you have or these, this decision or this choice or this thing that you've been that's been heavy on your mind it really wants you to look into that maybe it's just something that you've been putting off and not really wanting to deal with but i feel like the full moon is like giving you that push that it's time to look into that get some clarification on that i feel like the full moon is telling you that you can't decide what to do next maybe you're just overwhelmed about the information about it or you're just overwhelmed about what it is and you can't really compromise and that's kind of like clouding your decision making but the moon is telling you like no 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 you need to get back to that you need to get this sorted out to move on into that path that you are looking for then you got the ten of pentacles for the Ten of Pentacles, I'm feeling this is what you need to let go of. This is what you not need to be putting your focus into right now. So I feel like you need to put something... I feel like whatever this is, whatever you need to let go of, is like you need to like make a decision. You need to decide to what you're going to do, whatever this issue is. And clean that up so you can start a new beginning, right? The Tens are about ending a cycle and starting a brand new one. I feel that for you. I feel like... It's not about making money. It's not about your contributions. It's not about all of that to get you on, the, on your right path. I feel like they're like, you know, just, just count the blessings of what you have now. Finish whatever this is. Get some closure from that. Get some clarification from whatever that is. You know, just do, do the decision. 
it's not about the money. It's not about, you know, whatever whatever you think it's about, it's not about that. It's telling you, you know, just count your blessings, close whatever that situation is for you, and move on. Mm -hmm. And then this is what is getting ready to emerge. So if you do all of that, this is what's going to be coming. This is the path that the full moon sees for you or shining for you to take. You know, it's giving you that light. The Eight of Wands is a lot of movement, a lot of passion, a lot of energy, a lot of focus, you know, all of that thing. So, you know, manipulating, like not being a manipulative person, that's what I mean, but just like manipulating your energy around you to bring some positive energy towards you. You know, letting go of some of the negativity that may be clouding around you a little bit there. Mm hmm. I could feel that. So, let's just move to Virgo. What does a full moon have for Virgo? This is what can no longer be hidden from you. This is what you need to see from the full moon. This one is what you need to let go of. And this is what is getting ready to emerge to you. Okay. Let's see. The two of wands here. Hmm. I feel like there's a new opportunity, maybe not a new opportunity, but there is an opportunity that's going to come with like a rush of energy, like you're just going to, you're just going to like have this rush of energy with this full moon today, or like, you know, whenever you see this video, there's no time framing for this, but when you see this full moon, you're going to get a rush of energy, you're going to be able to see it clearly, you're going to be able to see your long term goals, you're not going to be able to make future plans, you're going to see things more clearly. Mm -hmm. I feel like your light is just going to come to light. Like, I feel like you're just going to get an idea or something just going to come to you that's going to open up that path that you've been waiting for, you know? Maybe you've been soul searching a little bit or maybe it's like a physical idea, you know, starting a new business or maybe like, you know, applying for that job you've been holding off on applying to or whatever it is for you. I feel like, yeah, you're going to get that energy to see that. You may not be aware of something, you know, it might be something you put on the back burner, but it's going to come back and emerge from you for, for you again. Then you got the Queen of Swords. And I feel like this is what the full moon wants you to get let go of. Like, you don't need to worry about this anymore. It's a Queen of Swords. She's like, she's kind of like in the dark. So she's like, you know, if you made a bad decision, don't worry about it, you know? New decisions are going to come. Like, whatever it was. I feel like whatever... I feel like for some of you, you did make a bad decision. And you're kind of feeling guilty about it. Or you're kind of, you know, not happy about it. Caught you some financial difficulties or whatever. But the full moon is like, you know... It was a lesson you needed to learn. You need to move on. Like, don't... Don't let go of it. It's not important. You don't need to carry it to where you're going. Things happen. We live and learn. It's time to move on. You got the magician. This is what you're getting ready to emerge. So you, you may not be aware of it, but this is what is coming for you from the new moon. The moon. Full moon. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> the full moon is making something new emerge, is what I'm trying to say here. Now, I feel like it wants you to get ready, you know? In, it seems that you've been lacking some energy. You've been lacking some focus. I feel like you've been feeling a little misleaded in the direction that you want to go into. You know, like, hmm. Maybe you're at a little bit of a crossroads, something happened, and you, now you now what? Now what? You know, I did that, now what? Now I don't know how to recover from it. Something's going to happen where this magician is going to turn their other way around right now. It's in the dark, but it's going to turn itself around once you put your focus into letting that go and, you know, work on picking up your energy, picking up your focus, picking up your direction that you want to go into. That's what I got for you, Virgo. Let's just go right into Taurus. What does the full moon have for Taurus? What does the full moon have for Taurus? This one wants to be out. Ooh. Eight of Wands, a fiery passion energy going on there. <laughs> what can Taurus let go of? The Page of Cups. Oops. This is what the full moon has for you. Oh, you got a bonus card there. Okay. <laughs> 
the eight of wands you know a lot of movement a lot of passion a lot of focus a lot of energy like i said previously a lot of manipulation like manipulate the energy around you let go of the negativity allow the positives to come in you know this is a time to count your blessings and all of that energy that's going on around you you know you need to light that fire you know see through the clouds and see what is good for you this is what the full moon wants you to see so this is what can no longer be hidden you have the fire you have the passion you have the focus you have the energy you need to just get started and get going with whatever this is for you now the page of cups this is what you need to let go of Mm -hmm. I feel like you need to let go of looking for attention. Maybe you need to stop looking for attention in the wrong directions. You need to keep your focus on where you want to go, you know? Maybe you need to find a new crowd or a new... Um, if somebody's not, you know, bringing you down or whatever, I just feel like you need to work on that negativity if there is any around you. You know, I feel like... This is what you need to let go of. Like, if there's been a disappointment or if there's been, like, an obsession in one thing or another sort of thing. Or like, you know, if someone's let you down multiple times and people keep canceling plans on you, just, you know, they're not serving you you need to move on. Just let those people go. Yeah. Whoever's, like, canceling plans on you, whoever's, like, you know, causing you problems, just let them go. It's time to move on. And then you got the Knight of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles, Nine. No, why does he get Nine of Pentacles? Knight of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. Huh. Nine of Wands is, you know, courage, resilience, persistence, have faith, and all that sort of thing. But this is what is getting ready to emerge. I feel like because it's in the dark, it's kind of like, it's going to be a slow pace, you know? Whatever you want there, whenever, whenever you get ready to let go of these negative people that are, you know, causing you some grief maybe once you let go of them your horse is going to turn around and go in the right direction you know he's going the wrong way there he's going towards the negative things you need to turn that horse around i feel like that's going to happen once you turn the page cups in the right direction nine of pentacles here i'm also feeling like you know be aware of your self-worth you know don't over be don't be overly invested but you know it's just time to start hustling you know you got an idea start hustling get back to work get back in the game you know whatever this passion is for you you need to get to it you know it will it will show you like the moon is right there showing you what's on the other side of that garden <sighs> Let's just see what is coming for Libra. What is coming for Libra? I feel that there is... Oops. This. It was in the dark. <laughs> but I turned it around. Not going to fight the moon. That's why it can no longer be hidden. This is what you need to let go of. Ooh, the devil. Definitely let go of the devil, right? <laughs> Libras, what's going on? This is what's emerging. Wow. All in the dark. Let's see. Two of Cups. I feel like what you need to be revealed is, you know, be, be aware of things that are happening too fast, too soon kind of thing, you know? I feel like there's been a letdown or if there's been avoiding some emotions, now is the time to, you know, Open that bag of worms. Can of worms. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> Open that up and face those emotions. Face how you're feeling. You know, let those emotions ride their course, you know? Whatever that is. If you ha have been broken up with someone or, you know, maybe going through a divorce or whatever, whatever that is for you, you just need to get some closure from that. Let go of that negativity. But... I'm just saying that because it's the devil, eh? So I don't know if it's like you broke up with somebody and it's like you need to face your emotions. You need to let them go, you know? Yeah, that's what I'm feeling with what the moon is telling you. Because, you know, this is emerging. This is what's emerging is the Six of Swords. You know, I feel there's going to be some un there's unresolved feelings, you know? You need to let go of this baggage, whatever you're holding on to, Libras. You know, if, if you're hanging on to someone, it's time to let them go. 
If you let them go, you're going to have a fresh, clean start. You're going to be able to move on. You know, it's going to be a slow healing um, energy, but I feel like there's a light. The full moon is definitely shining a light on you once you, you know, let go of this person. Let your feelings run their course. You know, it may be a slow process of getting over them, but it is what is needed to move on. And so let's just see what is for Gemini. What does the full moon bring for Gemini? Let's see. What does the full moon have for Gemini? This is what yours no, can no longer be hidden. This is what you need to let go of. And this is the Page of Cups. Okay. Page of Cups is what is getting ready to emerge. So, we're all in the dark again. Huh. A lot of people have a lot of dark in the cards. <laughs> Love the cards in the dark today. I feel like this is what you can no longer be hidden from you. The Three of Cups here. Maybe you feel like you've been alone. Maybe you feel like you need a social break. Maybe you're just feeling like you need to take charge. Or maybe you feel a little bit of frustrated. I feel like maybe someone's been gossiping about you or running their mouth for some strange reading or reason and overstepping their boundaries. Maybe you're just thinking about it and you're not really fully aware of it. Or you're just kind of suspicious about it. I feel like the full moon just wants you to be aware of it because it can no longer be hidden from you. Yeah. Let's see, the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is what you need to let go of. Maybe letting go of delay. Like, stop delaying things. Stop being frustrated. Stop going too fast. Like, slow down. Put your energy and focus into your passion, you know? The creativity, right? All the fire cards are creativity. So, put your focus into creativity. Stop delaying it. Get on your horse, you know? Never mind who's talking about you, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, never mind. Just... Turn your horse around, go the other way, and things will be good. Just let, let those people go. You know, they're not worth your time. They're just probably jealous of your passion of fire. I don't know why. I don't know where they came from, but I just feel like somebody's jealous about you, and you just need to like turn your horse around and just walk the other way. You know, this is what's coming for you. Is the page of cups. You know, the page of cups. I feel like maybe maybe this page of cups is like a water sign for you. Maybe uh, if you're kind of single. Maybe a water sign is kind of like looking for your attention, just wanting to connect with you maybe. Maybe in a romantic way, maybe just in a partnership way. Maybe they're interested in your creativity. Maybe it's a job offer. I don't know. I'm just feeling all of a sudden that there's a water sign that's waiting for you once you get rid of this negative sign. But I'm also feeling like this person may be a little bit... Um, this, I feel like this person hasn't had romance in a long time and kind of wants some romance. I feel like maybe they have a broken heart. Um, maybe they've been cheated on, but they are waiting for someone. They're waiting for someone's passion, someone's energy, someone's love, someone's romance. This person is just waiting for you. <laughs> That's what the full moon has for you. You just need to let go of that person because this person, I feel, is waiting for you. <laughs> Let's just see. Aquarius, what is coming for Aquarius? What does the full moon have for Aquarius? What does the full moon have for Aquarius? The strawberry full moon. Strawberries full moon. I don't know what we're supposed to call it, but here we go. The moon. Let's see. I feel like there's a lot of illusions there. This one wants to be out. Huh. Interesting. Let's see. This is for Aquarius. You got the moon. The whole moon. I feel like there's been some false impressions going on. I feel like there's a lack of clarity. I feel like maybe someone's been lying to you. Or you feel like somebody's been lying to you. Or maybe you don't even know that they're lying to you. I just feel like this is something that the full moon wants you... Wants to no longer be hidden for you. They want you to know. Like, they're, they just want you to know. The full moon wants you to know that whoever this person represents is lying to you. Like, don't trust them. They don't have good intentions towards you. Um... You know, that's what I'm feeling for sure. Whoever is seeing this Aquarius, someone is not being who they want, who you think they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
This is what they want you to let go of. The Empress. Huh, maybe this person is like acting like a mother figure towards you or um, trying to mother you when they're not your mother, I'm feeling like. Or um, whatever this is, I feel like they want you to let that, that person go. The Empress. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person is not who you think they are for some reason. I feel like this person is trying to offer you an opportunity for something or trying to work things with you or work with you or I don't know what is going on here. I don't know if this person is like trying to like date you or something. I don't know what the situation is. I don't feel like it's a romantic partner. I feel like it's somebody else. But yeah, that connection, they're just like... Ugh. That's not going to get you on the path that you want to go on to. This is what's emerging. This is what is coming. But I feel like this is what's coming if you let this energy go, whatever that is for you. The magician. See, the magician's in the dark. But if you let that go, the magician's going to turn itself around. When it turns itself around, you're going to be determined. You're going to be resourceful. You're going to be skilled. You're going to be able to... You're going to have clarity. You're going to have your willpower back. You're going to be more confident. You know, all your confidence and all that is going to come back. When you let this energy go, whatever that is for you, Aquarius. Yeah, you need to turn the magician into the light. Get that confidence back, get that determination back, get the clarity back, you know. Reveal the truth. Yeah. Let's just go to Sagittarius. What does the full moon have for Sagittarius? Apparently that. Ooh, holy cow, Sagittarius. The full moon is throwing the cards at you. What is emerging for Sagittarius? What is emerging? What's emerging? Huh. I am feeling that the the universe got so excited that I feel like this should be like this. The full moon just got ahead of itself. This feels more right. <laughs> they just all want to come out at once. Um, this is what the moon wants you to no long the, wants to no longer be hidden from you. This, yeah, this is what can no longer be hidden from you. I'm feeling like... Stop having dark thoughts. Um, you know, make the right choices. I'm feeling like you've been tied up. I don't know if you've been like tied up in like... Being obsessed about something. Or like addicted to something. I don't know if it's like addicted to like social media or addicted to something materialistic like shopping or I'm not quite feeling like it's like drugs or alcohol because that would be like an internal thing it's like a a I don't know independence Independence is what I'm trying to say. You need to let go of whatever is holding you back and you need to get your independence. You need to face your your fears. You know, it's time for freedom. You need to release your chains. You need to be independent. I don't know what's holding you back. I don't know what's keeping you tied up, but you need to release your chains. You need to like walk away from this. Let go of this energy. Like you just need to see clearly of what this is. Yeah. Okay, the Nine of Cups, this is what you need to let go of. Nine of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Cups. I don't know why I was thinking of something else. Nine of Cups, I feel like... I feel like you want more, but you're not happy. I can feel some arrogance. I feel some disappointment. Some unrealistic wants. Maybe that's the devil. Maybe what you want isn't what the universe wants for you. It's not what the full moon energy wants for you. Maybe you have this idea and you think it's a really good idea. Maybe you've been involved in a pyramid scheme. I have no idea where it's coming from. <laughs> but maybe for some of you or one of you who may be watching, you may have 
fall into one of those pyramid schemes, you know, like Sensi, selling Sensi, or selling any of those, Avon, all of that is a pyramid scheme. You're never going to make money off of that. You're never going to be rich on that, no matter how good of a salesperson you are. It's just the system of it. Um, yeah, I just feel like they're telling you to, to like, I don't know. You can't let go of that energy, you know? Like, the cards never tell you what to do. Nothing's set in stone. They're just saying, like, you know, you can let go of that. Because if you do, you have the Knight of Swords, you know? If you, if you kind of can let go of that, this may be an opportunity that's available to you as the Knight of Swords, right? Knight of Swords? I say Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords is ambition driven to succeed. Fast thinking, confidence. Definitely, you know, changes is coming. I could definitely feel that, but this is the king. So the king says, if it feels right, fine. If it doesn't feel right, get rid of it, you know? I feel like the king is like, don't be overly involved with whatever that is. Find the truth, be blunt about it, you know? Stay focused, stay true to yourself. Get things done, be ambitious. Be ready for what life is going to be throwing at you. I feel like life is going to be throwing something at you. And if you're not prepared to catch it, you might miss it. I feel like um, the way the cars came out, the way they push themselves out into the right direction for you, wherever this is, I don't know, totally up to you, but you know, you know, you know, right? <laughs> Let's just see what we have for Leo. What is going on for Leo? I think I dropped those on purpose. If they come out again, they come out again. <laughs> What is the full moon have for Leo? What's in store for Leo with this full moon energy? What can no longer be hidden from a Leo? King of Swords in the dark. Huh. What can Leo let go of? What can Leo let go of? Huh. What is emerging for Leo? What is emerging for Leo? Huh. Look at this. Leo, the cards have spoken. <laughs> okay, so this is what can no longer be hidden from you. The king of swords in the dark. I feel like they're saying take a step back. Don't be overly involved. You know, look for your inner truth. Like, look within yourself. Like, do some self-reflection. Um, but don't have low standards about yourself. You know, I feel like the, car the moon or the cards are just saying... Like what's well, why do you have low standards by yourself? No, 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 no. You, you, you have high standards there. No, you turn those those standards around. Never mind feeling like you have low standards. You know, don't feel bad about yourself. Don't self doubt yourself. You know, S take a step back. Don't be over involved with people who are being manipulative. You know, don't let people walk all over you. You know, you have your own two feet. You need to stand up for yourself. You know. Especially when about love, you know, don't let anybody tell you who you can love and who you can't love. You love who you love and that is it. You know, don't second guess what you love, who you love, whatever that love situation is for you. You know, if it's your passion, go for it, you know. Yeah. Don't let your hidden emotions about self-doubt and all that negativity don't let that clear your judgment of what's going on right now this is what you can let go of and it's a fool in the dark so i feel like you're saying don't be foolish don't cause chaos make sure you don't lose focus of the direction that you want to go into you know you have a direction you have a mindset of where you want to go go for it never mind this negative mindset it's not going to serve you you need to let go of that negativity and then this is what's emerging for you you know you got the King of Wands, he holds the Wand of Life there. <laughs> He's got it going. I feel like there may be a leadership promotion going on here. You know, maybe a promotion, maybe a leadership, a sponsorship or whatever that is for you. But something is coming for you that is big, Leo. You got the King of Wands here. I feel like you're going to get respect, honor. I like. I don't know if this is like a big sponsorship for you, a big promotion for you, a big job offer opportunity for you. But something big is coming for you. There's going to be a lot of fiery energy, a lot of passion, a lot of focus is going to be happening for you. It is emerging with the full moon. 
I wonder where that is, Leah. That looks looking good. Let's see what we have for Aries. What does the cards have for Aries? What is this Aries energy that is emerging? Let's just see here. We got the Three of Wands, Four of Swords, and Eight of Pentacles. Okay. The so Three of Wands is what can no longer be hidden from you. This is what you need to see with clarity. Three of Wands, I feel like you need to look beyond what you have. Look beyond the river. Look beyond the sea. Whatever this image resembles to you, you need to see. You got the white feather here, so that represents your angels are with you. And your spirit guides are with you, and they are guarding you on this journey. You know, with the, the new full moon light shining on it, right? Yeah. I feel like um, maybe what you don't really realize right now, like what it is, can no longer be hidden for you, is that you're just ready for the next step in your relationship or your next step in your business, whatever it is. You're just ready for the next step of whatever that is for you in your life right now. You're just ready for it now. I feel like. You need to look ahead. Expand overseas. Maybe expand overseas. I don't. Maybe maybe that's what it means by looking beyond what you have. Is like maybe for some of you, if you're like considering moving overseas, or some of you are like thinking of expanding your business overseas or whatever. I feel like that that can no longer be hidden for you. That's like something you need to look into more. Four of Swords. This is what you need to let go of. Let go of. <sighs> Maybe for some of you, been, you've been trying to do some self-love. Maybe for some of you, you've been trying to take a break. Maybe you've been trying to take time to recover. But I feel like the cards are like saying, you know what? You've been recovering, doing some self-care for long enough now. It's time to get back to business. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Maybe for some of you, it just means, you know, your vacation is done. You need to, you know, get back to work on Monday morning. I don't know, but it's like, hey, you've been resting long enough, you need to get back to business. You need to get back to work, you need to get back into the groove of things. You need to stop doing this resting, vacationing, self-love thing that you've been doing. I mean, it was great for you, but now, you know, reality check. <laughs> the moon is sending to you, Aries. Poor Aries. Universe, you know, speaks this mind, has no filter like I do, right? <laughs> Eight of Pentacles. Sometimes, you know, sometimes the universe can just make you laugh. Because if you don't laugh, you're going to cry. <laughs> um, the Eight of Pentacles. The Pentacles is in the dark, though. I'm feeling this is what is merging. What is coming for you? Huh. I feel like you might be feeling like... You're at a dead end road. I feel like that's. I feel like whatever's coming for you, it might be an ending, but I don't feel like it's a permanent ending. It's just something that you're gonna be like coming to a dead end road. You're like it's gonna feel like you're at a dead end road, road, and you're not gonna know which direction to go into. But I feel like you need to stay focused. You know, you need to stay focused on what you really want. You need to like look beyond the sea. You know. Maybe in taking time off of whatever that is. Maybe you haven't been poking, putting your focus into whatever this is. And even to kind of like, mm, you know, putting it on the back burner. A rest, so to speak, you know, from whatever it was. It's like, nah. You know, you might feel like you're at a dead road. Maybe you feel like you can't go back to whatever that was for you. And maybe you can't go back to whatever that was for you. You know, maybe you got laid off or whatever that w what was. Maybe, you know, things happened. Maybe you got fired, laid off, whatever that was for you. Maybe you started a business and it didn't work out, but you're like, mm. okay, we got it. It feels like a dead around. You feel like you can't do it. You feel like, you, you know, but you need to get back on the horse, <laughs> you know, back on whatever that is. You need to try again or try something else. You know, that job didn't work out. Apply for something else. And I feel like that is what the moon is telling you. You know, you just need to try again maybe in a, do, a new direction like a new job or a new business whatever it is for you just get back out there and try again let's see this is for Pisces what does the new moon have for Pisces holy I feel like every time I do Pisces the cards just take a fit all the time 
Like, what is going on with the Pisces lately? What's going on with the Pisces? We need a full moon message for the Pisces. Let's see. Fine, fine. This one just wants to come out. It's taking a bit. Let's see. For some reason, what can no longer be hidden is the chariot. <laughs> Don't miss your ride. The sun, huh? Why didn't you let go of the sun? What the heck? Pisces, what is going on here? This is what can no longer be hidden from you. This is what you need to see. This is what you need to put your time, focus, and energy into with this full moon is the chariot and I feel like you're starting a new journey you know you need to get in their driver's seat and take charge of your journey you need to just just get in <laughs> get in your chariot <laughs> you're going on this journey you know and the moon is just giving you that push and is giving your confidence you know I feel like you're, you're going to be overcoming some obstacles there the sun is we need to let go of. Huh. Let go of the sun. It's telling you to let go of unrealistic dreams or wishes. Like let go of some unrealistic wants for fortune is what I'm hearing. Um, just let go of things that are not serving you. And like look at the blessings you do have, you know? Focus more on being optimistic. Focus more on um, the positive things and the fun things and the happiness rather than my materialistic wealth, you know? I feel like when you let go of future planning, um, that are, that's unrealistic, you know? The sign is kind of like saying, like, don't commit to anything that you may not be able to follow through with, you know? Just stick to what is reality, what you are capable of. Don't put more of yourself than what you have to give. You know, Pisces, I feel like, yeah. For the Nine of Cups, I feel like when you go through this phase, you're going through a new journey here. So when you, like, be more realistic with yourself. Be more realistic with your expectations and then that sort of energy. Better things will come for you, you know? They may be things that you've been fantasizing on, but, you know, sometimes when you stop, you know, sometimes when you look for the for something you lost, you know, sometimes you look for a pair of shoes, you know, you have, but you can't figure out where you put them, and then when you stop looking for them, they just suddenly appear, you know? <laughs> it feels like magic sometimes. I feel like that is where you're going to get this um, wealth from, right? The Nine of Cups. Yeah, you're going to feel satisfied, content, um, getting your way with things, happy, luxury, you know? Getting some, you know, sensual pleasures, that sort of thing. Because you'll have a new glow, because you'll feel more in charge and more confident about yourself, you know, when you're not focusing on unrealistic things that maybe bringing down your energy a little bit. That's what I got for you, Pisces. Let's go ahead and see what's going on with the Cancers. Full moon for Cancer. What is emerging for the Cancer gang? The world! They want you to see the world is in your hands. Nope. That one's not coming out. Ooh, three of pentacles. Huh. This one wants to be out. Ooh, you got a double one. Double for Cancer. The world. <laughs> this is what you're unaware of. This is what can no longer be hidden from you is the world. I feel like right now you're in the right place at the right time. You're going to feel accomplished. You're going to feel complete. I feel like you're just taking a little bit of a pause before the next big stage in your life that is coming for you. This is what you need to let go of, and it's the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles are going to... You can let go of, like, family drama, family disputes, or any kind of disputes. Maybe there's been some work disputes going on here. Um, maybe you've been having some low energy, and you just feel like it's a bad time to start anything. This is just kind of like the funk that you're in right now. 
But the full moon is saying, let go of that. You don't need to feel any of those things that you are feeling because this is what is emerging for you. And it's two wonderful cards, right? The sun and the light. And even though the Ace of Pentacles is in the dark, it's not really a bad thing. The sun brings you a lot of opportunity, a lot of success, a lot of happiness and optimism and enlightenment and all that kind of positive energy, you know? You got the sunflowers and the sun and the baby, so maybe you're going to feel a little bit youthful and joyful and all that positivity. But what is actually emerging is the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is like, rethink your decisions or ideas. Don't give more than what you have, you know? Even though you might be feeling like you're giving it all, be aware of not giving too much, you know? Don't give too much of yourself. Don't sp spread yourself out too thin. Um, I feel like that is what's coming for you, you know? There may be a little bit of confusion. I feel like there's going to be conflicts that might be coming your way. I feel like you're going to be feeling a little bit unproductive. I feel like things are just not going to go your way, but they're just kind of like warning you. Like, remember the sun. Remember the opportunities you do have. Remember the happiness that you do have. Remember the realistic things that you do have. And don't focus on the negatives and be aware of this energy that may be merging for you a little bit here. You know, I feel like there might be some unrealistic opportunities. Like I feel like there is an opportunity, but be aware of unrealistic opportunities. You know, take your time deciding. You know, work on, make sure that nothing that you're going to be planning won't put you at a financial situation, you know? That's what I got for you, Cancer. Let's just see what is coming for Scorpio. What does a full moon have for Scorpio? It has the King of Cups. What does a full moon have for Scorpio? Huh. Uh, oops, you have two cards too there, Scorpio. Hidden message. I love hidden messages. <laughs> okay, so the King of Cups. Whew. This is might be something that you're unaware of. I'm feeling like you're going to be emotionally supportive. Maybe you are emotionally supportive and you just don't realize it. I feel like um, you've been working on controlling your feelings. I feel like you've been trying to like focus on your wisdom and kind of balancing your emotions and your wisdom. Like, you know, I'm trying to like figuring out how you feel and what you think and trying to balance them you know I get that maybe you've been doing it unconsciously but the universe sees that the full moon sees that and it's like yeah it's time for you to be more aware of it maybe put more a little bit more focus into that area of keeping them balanced the five of swords I feel like this is what you can let go of so let go of any past conflicts or challenges that you feel like you've had before. I feel like there's been something going on that made you feel like you had an unfair advantage or just um, maybe you've had a loss. I feel like it maybe I don't know if it was like a financial loss or just um, something that's just not sitting right with you. I feel like you're kind of like torn between some things that are happening with you. Yeah, but I feel like the universe and the moon is telling you, like, you can let go of that. You know, it's, it's okay if you can let go of that. You got the page of wands here, you know. I feel like you got some big ideas, you know. You gotta be careful, though, that your big ideas are not bigger than what you can manage at this time. But this is what is emerging for you. I feel like your ideas are emerging. You know, just don't let your ideas get out of hand kind of thing. I feel like you're going to be feeling inspired and motivated. You're going to be creative in this decision making of what you're trying to do here. You know, I feel like it's a good idea. I, mean, I feel like the magician is just kind of telling you, like, like be confident, be determined. You know, it's in the dark, so I kind of feel like maybe you're second guessing yourself. Maybe you're you're putting too much energy into this and not focusing on these big ideas. You know, maybe this is what's bringing this down a little bit. You know, you need to. 
work on your communication. Maybe you've had a little bit of some communication block for some reason or other. Maybe you've been feeling low energy and just feeling like drained and not really wanting to put your focus into this. Because I feel like whatever this was is kind of like bringing you down. But you know, you have these big ideas. I feel like you need to work on your your inspiration, your creativity. You need to work on this idea, moving forward out of this energy into a new light. <laughs> That's what I got for you, Scorpio. I wish you all a wonderful weekend, rest of the weekend, I guess it is. I'm going to be doing another video tomorrow. If you want to check that out, it's going to be a premiere. It's not going to be a live, it'll be a premiere. But if you want to check that out, I will answer questions with my cards in the chat. This won't be a live thing. I will be in the chat. So you can watch my video and answer questions in the chat. If you would like, that will be tomorrow evening. I'll see you next time. Bye!